Behind this garage door is the rarest barn find we've ever found on this channel. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe as it helps us out a lot. And other than that, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I didn't think there was this much stuff in here. <laughs> That's why we brought uh, reinforcements. So it's pretty clear this thing was parked many, many years ago. In fact, the last time it was tagged was 1999, which is only four years after I was born. And the story on this car is the owner bought it brand new from the dealership. He had it and drove it for about 8,800 miles. And then he took it on the freeway about 140 miles an hour. He got scared of the car and he parked it in his garage and it's been sitting there ever since. Now the transformation on this car is absolutely magnificent, so you guys don't wanna miss any of it. I will say we found a lot of surprises in this car, including a ton of ammunition. And we also found a few dead mice, but we were able to check a lot of the wiring in this car, which you guys will see some of, and they didn't even touch it. But even just putting some power to this thing, look at these headlights, they are so cool. The fact that they still work is such a good sign, and that brings me to the question of the video. So leave your answers in the comments below. When this thing is all cleaned up and it's in running shape again, how much do you guys think it's worth? Let us know. Now, the first thing we did was look over the engine bay because we hadn't gone inside the car yet. And as you can see, there was a dead mouse laying on top of it. And then also another one hanging from this mouse nest that was in the hood liner. So firstly, we wanted to address were there more mice inside the car because we wanted to take care of that first and foremost. Now we started by cleaning these ones out of the engine and then we moved on to the interior where we found some in the glove box, but we were able to find out that they were isolated to that area. So luckily they didn't go anywhere else in the car. And as we went through the car, we were kind of able to verify that as we started taking things apart because we weren't able to find any mice nest toward the back of the car. It's mostly in the glove box and then there was a small one underneath the center console, which you guys will also see. But other than that, this car was in such great condition. Wow, it's got his anti-theft system stickers still and the theft deterrent system stickers still. That's crazy. All these little things increase the value of the car. All these little stickers and whatnot. Now, after addressing that problem, we went ahead and we put the car up on our lift because we wanted to do a full wheels off and undercarriage detail. We wanted to give this thing the absolute best detail we could. And looking underneath this thing, the undercarriage looks really good. But again, a lot of you are probably more knowledgeable than I am. So if you guys see anything that you like or dislike about this car, leave it in the comments below. We're reading every comment you leave. Now to get these wheels clean, all we're using is PNS Brake Buster along with Iron Remover and that's it. That combination seemed to work magic on these things. And when we turned it around and did the barrels, you guys will see all of that dirt wash away.
And now a word from our sponsors. All right, guys, so when we finally finished up the shop here, we had a big open house where we had all our friends and family come, and we had a friend of mine cater the whole party where he cooked a huge brisket. And we wanted to give a huge shout out and thank you to Kamikoto for sponsoring this video because it was their knife set that we used to cut the brisket. The best part about Kamikoto is they only use steel sourced from mills in Japan. And if you didn't already know, Japanese steel is a big deal. And each blade is crafted using techniques that Kamikoto has taken and built on a legacy of over 800 years of Japanese technology. And each knife is individually inspected and comes with a lifetime guarantee. And these knives are used by Michelin star chefs all around the world. The knives also come in a beautiful heavy duty ashwood box making sure that they're stored safely and also making them a great gift and guys kamikoto is running a black friday sale and is also offering another 50 dollars off any purchase using our code wd50 and you can do that at kamikoto.com wd50 and guys take it from someone who eats a lot of steak eats a lot of meat in general this is by far the best knife set that i've ever gotten and i think it looks amazing in the ashwood box uh, the quality is amazing and anyone that eats meat or cooks a lot in your life would absolutely love this knife set so uh, definitely check them out and thank you to kamikoto for sponsoring this video Okay, let's all be real here. Who looks at a dealership badge on the back of a car and actually thinks that looks good or belongs? So thank God the owner had us take it off. Now after that, we went ahead and took off the wing. That way we could clean underneath it and also polish under it. It just makes us feel better about the final result and that we did everything possible for this car.
Now we'll go ahead and prep the paint by doing a decontamination and a clay bar. So that way when it's time to polish, all the contaminants are off the paint and it makes polishing a breeze. All right, we'll go ahead and address the paint later, which you definitely want to stick around for because this car turned out 100% perfect. We started by taking everything out of the car and even had the warranty information on the car in the trunk. There's so many things in this car from when it was bought that adds to the value. It's actually crazy. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna take apart the center console armrest and see what's underneath there, see how it looks. And once we get that apart, we can actually assess what kind of damage these mice would have done, if any. And lo and behold, they actually didn't do any. So the owner is really lucky with this car. It is in immaculate condition, and I really have high hopes for it moving forward. All right, guys, so obviously we took apart the center console to see if there are any more nests. Um, a little bit of insulation, but after review of all the wires, um, actually none of the insulation from the wires looks like it was even touched by mice, and um, all the wires are in great condition, which is a relief. It seems as if they were all just kind of sleeping in the glove compartment.
Okay, so for the extraction part, we're using hot water only in the extractor. And then on the drill brush, we're using a white drill brush head, which is very soft. That way we're not gonna destroy any of the carpet fibers because we really wanna keep this carpet intact for obvious reasons. We just wanna be very gentle with it, but we really wanna get anything that these mice could have left in the carpet out of it and any dust or dirt that's accumulated over the years, all of that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a really good clean. For the seats, we're doing the same thing, except we're not using the drill brush at all because we didn't want to use anything that could possibly tear the seat. So we were being extra cautious on this. Now moving back to the exterior, you can see how swirled this paint is. It's really bad. So RJ busted out the buffers and got to work. And let me tell you guys, he spent a lot of time on this exterior and the transformation is really good. So you don't wanna miss the end result.
All right guys, so there's a lot of bug splatter on some really tiny areas that we can't get a polisher in. Um, and what I learned from actually Jason Kilmer, uh, we'll leave his at in the description below if you guys wanna follow him. He's a brilliant, brilliant detailer. He taught me almost everything I know when it comes to polishing. But anyways, uh, you can actually wrap a, in order to get in these tight areas, especially inside here and underneath and all these areas with, where the bug splatter is, you can wrap a sanding block inside a microfiber towel, put a little bit of polish on, rub it in, and then get into those real tight areas that you can't get into with any kind of polisher. We do have the, Rub uh, the Rupes Ibrid Nano, um, which is a one inch pad, but truthfully it's just not powerful enough to actually um, do the work that we need to do. So, we're resorting to the black and microfiber method. Now with the paint done, it was time to finally finish up the car by dressing the tires, cleaning the windows, adding some protection to the paint, and this car was good to go. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video. It really helps us out a ton. And if you live in the Northeast Ohio area and you have a car like this or know somebody who does and you want us to do it for you, we do these absolutely for free every single time. So feel free to reach out to us either through our Instagram or our email, but also leave a comment down below what you guys thought of this video. We really appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.